This war of mine's full of awful, awful people. Thugs, soldiers taking advantage, bandits, and worse. I think what this town needs is a hero. Before we start, here's the time codes. Feel free to jump around to certain locations or times, but uh, do stick around if you want the story throughout. There is going to be an overlying narrative, so stick around if you want to hear that. And also, I'm getting ever closer to a thousand subs. Every single one helps, so thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So the setup is as follows. I'm only going to choose locations with evil or questionable people at them, such as the supermarket, the hotel, small apartment building, airport, places like that. There's going to be no winter at all. That's not kind of the challenge of this run. And finally, we're going to be choosing the best superhero duo that we can find. That being Roman and Erica. So, day one starts and our house is definitely not ready for our vigilanteism. So we spend the first day clearing the rubble, searching for resources, and building our first makeshift gadgets. The first one is a crowbar that can be used for both getting through doors and getting through enemies. The second is a shovel. Now this is just to get through rubble, because there's maybe some places that we need to get to. Overall, day one was pretty productive. And now it is time for the first mission. Roman will be heading to the supermarket. We've heard rumours of rogue soldiers there taking advantage of defenceless girls. A quick survey of the area shows we're simply going to need our crowbar for this, but we'll take the shovel as well. And this entire mission should be relatively simple if all things go to plan. All Roman needs to do is get ready behind this first door, then quickly open it and take out the soldier from behind before the soldier can react. In a matter of moments, the job is done and the girl is saved. Roman picks up the gun for future use and quickly scavenges around for more supplies. The shovel and the crowbar have come in very, very handy today. Heading home for day two, and we realise that we should probably eat in order to keep our strength up, so we build a cooker. And then Arika takes her initiative and gets ready for her first night out. In comparison to the first night's mission of the supermarket, her mission is going to be slightly trickier. She's off to the small apartment building. For this mission, she's going to take the shovel and the crowbar again, although there isn't actually anywhere at the small apartment building that you need these to get to. Now the tactics. How is she going to get in here and deal with these bandits? Well, first things first, she's going to head to the front door and peek through the keyhole. This way she can see and wait for when those first people disappear from the front entrance hallway. Once that's done, she's going to follow that person upstairs. The moment he turns his back, Arika strikes. The shovel is good enough in her hands to get it done in one hit. Now that this guy has collapsed, Arika can then grab the gun from his body, which will be incredibly useful later. This can be used if she falls into a tight spot where things don't go quite to plan. She then takes her time to track down her next target. There are two more people in this building, and she doesn't want to get surprised by one when she's attacking the other. She slowly and methodically works her way around the house until she finds the perfect moment. Her target is facing away from the door and she is able to slowly sneak in. Unfortunately, at the wrong moment, her target turns around. Two quick shotgun shells drop him and she quickly jumps into a hiding spot. The final bandit heard though, and he's running up the stairs to see what all the commotion is about. Unfortunately for him, as he's running past to try and get to his friend's now lifeless body, Arika strikes again. It's a very quick stealth kill and Arika's targets are no more. All that's left is to grab everything that she can that may be useful and head home back to the base. The next few days go by semi-uneventfully. Roman helps a neighbour closer to home, while Arika holds down the fort. It turns out, though, that this is the night when things go wild. 
clearly hearing that there is a vigilante on the streets, there is a massive outbreak of crime. While Roman is out helping their neighbour, Arica, all alone, gets raided. In the, in the ensuing violence, she gets slightly wounded, but they manage to not get that much stuff from us. Thankfully, she is still able to look after the place while Roman goes and scopes out the next mission. The airport.